Hello lovelies. Uh, sorry for the delay on this video, uh, but I live in California and their quality has been so bad I didn't want to mess with anything resin related for about a week uh, just because of the fumes that can come off of resin products. I didn't want to get all excited about what was in the box and then not be able to do anything with it because I had to keep all my windows closed up. So this is my elves box from Sophie and Toffee, which is a subscription box with mostly resin themed uh, craft supplies in it. This this should be the October box, um, which arrived right after Halloween, but like I said, fires and all that stuff. So Sophie and Toffee shipped it more promptly than I'm opening it by quite a bit, uh, but it did still arrive after Halloween. So if this is the Halloween themed box, I still have a sad face. Um, they have like more than one subscription box now, so I wasn't quite sure if I was getting Halloween stuff or if that was in a different box. So uh, let's find out what's in the box. Do, do, do. It is Halloween themed. Okay, so I like Halloween year round. So it's not really a bad thing that it's a little bit late, except that, you know, for people who actually think Halloween should only be at Halloween time, kind of sad. So coffin trinket box and coffin lid shaker. That sounds pretty cool. And here is the contents list. So I'm going to use that as a checklist as I pull things out. Um, also, this should contain shaker oil uh, specifically because the shaker oil in last month's box leaked. This box, by the way, no sign of oil drips or anything else. So I'm pretty sure whatever is in here did not leak. But let's uh, find out what I got. So coffin trinket box with shaker lid molds. That is this. Two molds. One is... Turn it sideways so you can see. So one is the box, one is the lid. I'm not going to pull those out because I've learned that this type of mold collects dust so quickly. Rainbow pellets, all the rainbow pellets. I love rainbow pellets. Okay, uh, epoxy, two to one ratio. Um, you know, I keep forgetting to use the resin that they send me with these boxes because I keep using my cheapy stuff from Daiso. So I actually can't give you any review on their resin. Someday I should, in fact, fix that. Uh, food grade shaker oil. All right. And I'm moving it around in there. No sign that this leaked. So that is really good. Better packaging this month. Yay. Oh, yay. Pink. Look at that. We're back to pink. It is, in fact, pink. Uh, it is a solid pigment, which means I will end up with an opaque resin if I use this. Hopefully next month they'll give me a different color. Pink is not Halloween. What are you doing? That is not Halloween theme. Okay. I'm salty about that. Uh, pink is for spring, not for autumn. Thank you very much. Uh, glow in the dark moon confetti. Oop, there we go. Those are definitely moon shaped. Yeah, professional nail art. I've said this several times, but like if you're looking for stuff for resin crafting and you want something cool, go search for nail art supplies and you will find so many cool things. Uh, so yeah, those are a nice size. It looks like they're maybe four millimeters tall. That's a good size. It's actually a good size for nail art too. So we'll see how I end up using those. Uh, creepy cute stickers, 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 stickers. And random. Oh, I know what that's for. Okay. Uh, so that's some pretty good stickers. Some of them are white. So that's uh, anything that looks like an empty spot on the sheet, like right there, right there, right there. There's a bunch of white things on here too that just don't show up against the background. And I know from seeing other people's videos, these are clear background stickers. So they're super good for resin crafting. Uh, miniature skull mold. Here we go. Oh, I actually think I have this already from a different company. So yay, more skulls. You can never have too many skulls. Has anybody else ever noticed that? You can never have too many skulls. Um, miniature pumpkin mold. That was this one. Miniature pumpkin mold. So we've got some pumpkins with no little space for their stems at the top and some little ghosty shapes that might... Nope, they don't have eyes. You have to like paint the eyes on them, I think. And doo -doo -doo, clear film for shaker lid. That's this. So clear film. And it does have a little peel back thing that is protecting it right there. So... That is totally a thing that can be done. And that wasn't on the list, I guess. I don't, yeah, I don't see open bezels anywhere on the list, but there we go. We've got some open bezels as well. And what's missing is I've seen some really cute trinket boxes made with this mold already where people used hinges. And I think Sophie and Toffee sells hinges separately, but it would have been really nice to get them in this kit. Uh, so there we go. That's a pretty good assortment. I can make a pretty decent Halloween thing as long as I use my own colors because pink pink is not a Halloween color unless you're dressing up as a pretty pretty princess, which honestly I LARP so much. Pretty pretty princess is not a special Halloween thing. Um, okay, so there we go. A uh, pretty good box. Uh, I'll get this posted to you guys soon. I've been having, I hope, 
hope. I don't know. The power's already gone out like once today, so we'll see what's happening there. Again, I am nowhere near the fires. I'm completely safe from the fires. Um, huge respect, sympathy, concern, everything for people who are near all the wildfires in California. Um, yeah. Uh, and just so you guys know, uh, I'm going to be selling at a convention called Lost Con. It is near the Los Angeles airport. It's a small science fiction convention. That's going to be over Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, so I will have a huge variety of craft stuff there if any of you happen to be the area and want to come out to it. It's a nice little uh, small relaxing con. It has amazingly intelligent panels. Uh, and I think that is 